He held them there. Now he lets them go. And they're racing to the derby. And one of the first of them away. Shawaddy Waddy White out with Samantha's Twitch Criminal Code left nicely. Hill's going to ease right back with Red Hot Tip after the start in front of it. Tuscan Queen through the first 250. Shawaddy Waddy's going to roll to the top here at the judge and lead the way from Criminal Code. Miss Dominican down on the inside. Going forward there hastily on the outside as Midnight Blue up running fourth. The speed slowing. Samantha Panthers twitch tucked away just inside of its heels as they leave the home straight behind them. And canvassed had settled down on the inside of the raging favourite Tuscan Queen. A length away over on the fence behind them, naughty by nature. Red Hot tip back second from last after he'd led them in the Melvista. And the Neville Parnham train Pam Bella last of all at the 1600 crossing where Shawaddy Waddy led the derby field. It's Shawaddy Waddy by a length over criminal code. Down on the inside, Miss Dominican third. They're dawdling along Midnight Blues up running fourth, three quarters of a length away, then Samantha's Twitch. Being trailed back on the inside by Canvas, who's back there with Tuscan Queen. One and a half to Red Hot Tip outside of Naughty by Nature. Back last of all with a little more speed going on now into the derby is Pam Bella, who's eight off the pacemaker. Shawaddy Waddy in that roll, 1150 to go. Out to the river they run, and it's Shawaddy Waddy. Three quarters of a length in front, criminal code. Midnight Blue, no luck at all, three deep. Down on the inside there in fourth placing. Miss Dominican's enjoying a sweet run. A length and a half away Samantha's twitch back on the fence. A length off them came Canvas who's covered up by the red hot favourite Tuscan Queen. Pike sits there, bides his time still. Being followed then by on the outside red hot tip from back on the rail. Naughty by nature and around them now goes Pam Bella. Shawaddy Waddy in a bunching field again in the derby. 550 to go. Led the way. Taken on by Criminal Code. Over on the outside is Midnight Blue. Around it goes Samantha's Twitch. Miss Dominican searching for run. Pike now pulls to the outside. He's in the clear with Tuscan Queen and she's about to get rolling coming into the home corner followed further back by Canvas and also at the head of the others is Red Hot Tip. 250 to go. He hadn't turned the reins on Tuscan Queen but she went bang. Races away from them. Tuscan Queen in the derby. It's all over bar the shouting. All interest in the miners. Here's another one in the Serena and White. It's eight for Bob Peters, eight for Pike, seven for the Williams team. Tuscan Queen reigns supreme to win the derby easily from Red Hot Tip. Criminal Code canvassed in a good go there for third from Pam Bella, Samantha's Twitch. Followed further back, Naughty by Nature, Miss Dominican. Further back in the field then to Midnight Blue and Shawaddy Waddy, which had led the derby field, had dropped out to run Stone Motherless last. Tuscan Queen. She's destroyed them as she was expected to do. And uh, it's another Derby success. More Derby victories here for Peter's Investments and Pike and also Team Williams. They've done it again. Another Derby success, Tuscan Queen, the fast net rock filly from uh, Tarnaville. William Pike let her go and the classic was all over. A cakewalk, Tuscan Queen has romped in from Red Hot Tip, who'd followed her every move and Criminal Code had stuck to its task well. Close up there is, is canvassed as we wait for the numbers with Samantha's twitch also. But Tuscan Queen turning it into a one act affair having now claimed the Natasha the Oaks and the Derby. One first, four first, four first, Tuscan Queen, one second, a red hot tip, third, three, criminal code, fourth, eight, canvassed, fifth is number six, Pam Bella, four, one, three, eight, in two, 32.24, four and three quarters by three quarters of a length, Home in 34.61, they let down and she just absolutely treated them to an exhibition. Well, they've done it again. It's uh, more success, great group one, uh, group uh, two success in the derby for uh, the Cerise and uh, White. They've completely dominated the event. Race nine today, the Pepsi Max handicap one, Mr. Cunifer.
is the scratching there coming out a little earlier this afternoon. Six, nine, two and four here going with the Black Shadow to uh, beat Volkswagen. Frank, here comes Lenny and Adornment. So it's been a big day so far for the Cerise and White. It may well continue to into the very, very twilight of this Derby Day card of action from Ascot with correct weight to come after a very predictable win, Alex, by this... Uh, Star filly of this season. She's certainly been the best of a, a pretty average group of three-year-olds here in this 2019-20 year. But boy, she's certainly on the rise after that ridiculously easy win. Ridiculously easy win indeed, Darren. I have co-trainer here, Grant Williams. And Grant, everyone expected her to do that. But when the race caller is able to get out the statistics of the trainer, jockey and owner in this race, you know she's won by panels. Did she just do what you expected her to today? Yeah, her prep's been really good after her first couple of runs, which were, I think, just the result of maybe a hard campaign over, this, over the summer. Um, she's just gone super. The last few runs, she just yeah, we can't really fault her. She's absolutely remarkable. How do you reflect on, on a personal level, your own record in this race? Seven WATC derbies. Oh, I think we're just pretty lucky to have these horses, Britt. Um, you know what it's like. Um, obviously, Mr. and Mrs. Peters, they they just breed or in this case buy these beautiful fillies or geldings, and um, it's just good to be able to get the job done, really. And job done, you certainly did, and did it by panels today. I said to Alana after her win last start in the Oaks, I remember on debut, Belmont, cold, rainy day, you said, this is the next really good one. Yeah, look, she's really like this from the start. She should be doing this, actually. This is, uh, this is her little thing when I was in Melbourne. She was doing this, so um, really, really happy with the job that everybody's done. Really happy with this filly, how she's held together. Um, yeah. Can't, can't be happier. You mentioned Alana's involvement here. How proud are you of her? Because while you were in Melbourne, she had a big role to play here. There, obviously, Bob Peters provides you a big team and there's pressure to perform when you have the quality of horse that you do. Yeah, there was pressure. She was definitely under a bit of pressure there for a couple of weeks. Um, and that was, that was always our goal. We had to come and we had to... Uh, didn't matter what help happened in Melbourne, but we had to still win a good race over here or, or these races over here because that's what we were going to be graded on, I, I think. So... It's just great team effort. Um, big congratulations to Rawa for actually keeping us running. All the people in racing, it's really good. It certainly is. And uh, not only have you got the job done over East, but here as well. It's a credit to your training partnership. Well done to you. Thanks, Britt. A wonderful training partnership. Grant and Alana Williams. And uh, let's not take anything away from the breeding operation of Bob Peters. Scott, this is just remarkable. Eighth the eighth WATC derby for Bob Peters. His team is just a force to be reckoned with each and every year. They certainly are, Britt, and it's amazing to think that she's now won a champion fillies and Natasha Stakes and Oaks and a derby, and she's probably not in Bob Peters' top five three-year-olds from the last handful of seasons. His breeding operation is just so powerful and so good and so well put together. It really is a well-oiled machine. Certainly is well said. OK, on Sky Thoroughbred Central, that's it from us from the WATC Derby. Well, we still have two races to come on this 10-race program.